Turn out of your forecast, safe to assume now with meteorologist Brian Bachman that they should have pretty decent weather is because it seems like we've just been coasting right through winter. We really have done a <laughs> great job, especially, you know, after the after we got out of January. Right. You know, we had the second wettest January on record, 10.3 inches of rain in the entire sure. month. We've barely gotten over two, and we're 20 days into February. Now. How yeah. amazing is it you can just so easily forget that because February's been so beautiful. Yeah, just a complete about face. Yeah. And like you mentioned, the added bonus of having the warmer temperatures right. uh, during the afternoons, even if we've had the colder starts. That's that true. pattern's not going anywhere yet, but at least it doesn't mean any major cold snaps anytime soon. That's good, so. and no snow. No snow. There I know go. some folks out there may be still hoping, and hey, we still got... 29 days of winter left so okay you never know well, let's take a look at your temperature trend here highs specifically uh, over the next week and uh, well this is why I keep saying the deck is kind of stacked against us certainly uh, through the next seven days there won't be any snow when you look at temperatures like these we'll go from a high of around 60 tomorrow mid 60s by Thursday and Friday a little bit of a dip that I mentioned before going into the weekend, but not as dramatic as the you know highs in the 40s and low 50s that we fell to last Saturday. Instead, we'll just cru cruise back to about 60 degrees before jumping right back to around 70 going in to Monday. So spring during the day and still some hints of winter by night. Looking even further down the pipeline here, we go into the first few days of March going all the way out to March 4th. In fact, still looks like things overwhelmingly favoring a warmer than average temperature profile which could continue to mean, you know, certainly a stretch of 60s through that time, but you know, maybe even by then more of our highs getting into the 70s. So we'll see what happens, but I uh, just can't uh, really see much hope for uh, some snow in any kind of real hard form here over the next couple of weeks. As for satellite radar, though, back here at home, hey, at least it's nice. You know, I get the want for snow, but it's also nice to have the nice weather here. High pressure still very much in control. It's going to hold on for about the next day and a half as it slowly builds east. By late Thursday, it'll give way to our next storm system, and that's where the next shot at some rain ultimately comes in. So let's take a look at the next 24 hours here on your future track, starting with tonight. No major cloud coverage in the skies as we go from 11 o'clock through 7 o'clock tomorrow morning. 20s and 30s to start, so make sure you're good and layered up as you head out the door. But at least it will be a sunny day, so have your sunglasses primed and ready to go, too. Keep that in mind as we head toward midday, still with mostly sunny skies and into tomorrow afternoon. But you know, maybe you can ditch a layer by the time we get there, since temperatures by tomorrow afternoon for a lot of us will be getting back into the low 60s. Into tomorrow night, we'll start to see the beginnings of some high cloud coverage trickling in as the night goes on. But at least through the Thursday morning commute, still in very good shape. Thursday will be a day where more and more of this cloud coverage settles over the area. Daytime period looks dry. It's between 8 and 9 p.m. when this next wave of showers starts to track in. Some windy conditions coming along with this, uh, mind you, as uh, temperatures will still at least be mild ahead of all of this. This rain not going to stick around long. We'll have some heavy downpours for probably a good six or so hour period uh, over the course of Thursday night. But then by Friday morning, getting out the door first thing, maybe a little bit of cloudier sky still left over in the mountains there. Probably some leftover wet spots on the road, but rain pretty much over and done with by the time we wake up on Friday morning and whatever rain does fall certainly not looking like some of those bigger systems that we saw back in January this time around looking like around 10th to maybe in some extreme cases around half an inch of rainfall just a quick inning uh, quick hitting that is in and out kind of a system and then off and running to a much nicer looking weekend so for tonight staying cold though mostly clear 29 for you in the mountains but hey look at the thing at the bottom there most importantly calm winds, so we're not going to make it feel any colder than it's already going to be. Low temp around 32 upstate, also with mostly clear, quiet conditions. Three-day outlook gets us to the mid-60s by Friday as those showers depart, but amid all that sunshine that we're going to have around the shower threat, things are going to be pretty breezy even going into the weekend. There's that little bit of a dip we talked about after that high of 66 on Friday. Low 60s for Saturday, Sunday, but abundant sun even if it is breezy. And then upper 60s to around 70 by Monday and Tuesday. Mountains not too far behind temperature wise. 56 tomorrow, mostly sunny. Windy with those evening Thursday showers, morning showers Friday. And 50s and 60s returning over the weekend. Make sure to download the Fox Carolina First Alert weather app. We'll have everything you need to know about your weekend forecast and that approaching rain right there in the app.